I would like to introduce this poster presentation entitled The Chilean Antarctic Infrastructure to 2030 by Marcelo Lepe from the Chilean Antarctic Institute. The topic of this presentation is a review of the Chilean Antarctic Infrastructure to 2030. It is presented in 19 Comnap Symposium Antarctic Station Modernization. This program started in 2019 with the purpose to modernize the stations Professor Julio Escudero in Fieldes Bay at King George Island, Yelcho Station in Dummer Island at South Bay, and Carvajal Station in Adelaida Island at Margaret Bay. It is estimated an investment of $70 million to complete this project in a period not less than eight years we require coordinated work with other public and Antarctic operators. The main idea is generate quality infrastructure to support scientific research in Antarctica and have a network of bases located through an important latitudinal gradient above 2,000 kilometers, starting in Punta Arenas as a gateway to Antarctica. We have already hired the professional indicated for, for the development of this study who have developed the architectural drafts, studies on soil mechanics, topobathymetry and a survey of the existing Antarctic infrastructure. With the above, we have achieved the approval of the funds and signed collaborations agreement. We are currently in the bidding stage for the detailed engineering projects. In order to optimize the resources and make the operation more effective and simple is that three major areas define the architectural program, which are the housing area, domestic service area and laboratory area. The planned stations will be operating with the latest technology laboratories, renewable and clean energy, drinking water from the sea and no carbon footprint from the year 15 of operation. Escudero will be a permanent station with a maximum capacity of 86 people with an area of 2,500 square meters. Carvajal will be able to support 66 people and permanent operation in, air in an area of 1,800 square meters. Yelcho will be a summer seaside station and it will be prepared to host the 37 people. These bases are designed to research in lines such as climate change, astronomy, earth science, biotechnology, and others. Thank you for watching this presentation.